is the new IFB falling apart? Absolutely. So right here, Steve Anderson made a video called for his friends like these who needs enemies. And in the video, he goes over how some of his pastor friends were basically going behind his back and speaking against him and were basically making videos and like you see right here in this video he said one of his pastor friends michael johnson was basically had an anonymous youtube account and was making videos behind his back while pretending to be his friend while secretly attacking him and just it goes to show that this new ifb cult is falling apart so let's see what he has to say here but Anyway, that's what these guys are saying about me and accusing me of. And uh, the, 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 the guys that I'm talking about, let me just come out and say this, you know, before I go any further. I'm talking about Pastor Michael Johnson and Pastor Manly Perry. Now, I wanna say this, Pastor Joe Major has also accused me and called me ecumenical, but I don't have any evidence of him going behind my back or anything. I mean, he actually came directly to me and talked to me about this. And, and so I'm not accusing him of any kind of, um, you know, um, behind my back, backstabbing. I'm not saying he's a bad person. You know, I love him, God bless him. I don't have anything uh, bad to say about him except for the fact that, you know, calling me ecumenical is a false accusation. But Manly Perry. So basically the uh, Manly Perry guy and Michael Johnson were going behind his back and calling him ecumenical. And it just, just goes to show in this whole IFB, not, not just the new IFB, but in the IFB system in general, they'll just, just nitpick about every little thing you say and just about, just, just they'll separate over every little thing you do, you know. That's how, that's how this uh, IFB pagan system works. I mean, this IFB, I think part of the problem is that they're in these, these pagan church buildings, and these church buildings bring in an evil spirit with them. So they, they have all this strife, this contention. I mean, go to these, these average church buildings, there's so much strife and contention. I mean, they're just, just nitpicking about every little thing someone says and just, just going behind their back and trying to backstab them and stuff. It goes on constantly in this whole IFB system. And Michael Johnson have been doing this behind my back for a very long time, okay? I had multiple people contact me, multiple witnesses tell me that they have gone behind my back. You know, Manly Perry already broke fellowship with me months ago, but even before that, he was going around and talking to pastors behind my back, just nitpicking me, telling them everything that was wrong with me, all while pretending to be my friend. And, and, and look, Manly Perry's the biggest hypocritical flatterer. He preached a sermon called Why I'm an Andersonite, which is a stupid sermon. Why would anyone pronounce themselves to be an Andersonite? especially in light of the fact that he's going around behind my back talking bad about me. Okay, that's super weird. Okay, we're not Andersonites, we're Christians, we're Baptists. And you know what? This is not some weirdo cult where we can only be friends with people that are part of our movement or whatever. I can- Well, it seems that Manly Perry had that you know, mentality of what, of, you know, the cult and only, only people in our movement because he was calling himself an Andersonite and preached a whole sermon, why I'm an Andersonite. Pretty cult-like. But let's continue. Be friends with whoever I want. I can be friends with pastors from the old IFB, and if I find a Reformed Baptist pastor that's King James and right on salvation and wants to go soul winning, then you know what? I'm going to be his friend, and if people don't like it, they can go jump in a lake, okay? This cult like attitude that acts like people who are only in our circle of friends are the only true Christians or something is, is, is stupid and. Well, it's kind of funny because a lot of these uh, new IFB goons. They just accuse, I mean, they've attacked pastor after pastor after pastor who don't agree, agree with them and, and claim they're lost. I mean, I've got some, some weird comments from these guys claiming I'm lost because I'm a dispensational. They call me a damnable dispensationalist. You know, it's crazy. They do have a very cult like mentality. But here's the next video of this uh, Michael Johnson guy who apparently made an anonymous YouTube account attacking Anderson. Let's see what he has to say here. Hey everybody, Pastor Stephen Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. So I was sent today some unlisted YouTube videos from an anonymous YouTube channel called Till the Stars Fall Do Right. And these videos are tacking me, Pastor Anderson's wrong, and they uh, have like 160 views on that video, but it's unlisted. So you, know, you can't find these by searching YouTube. And if you even click on this channel, it shows no content, no videos, because everything's unlisted. The channel's anonymous. These secret anonymous <laughs> unlisted videos have been passed around to attack me. 
And I found out that the person behind the channel, the person who created the channel, made the videos and uploaded them, is Pastor Michael Johnson from Temple Baptist Church in Jacksonville, North Carolina. What a coward when he has been nothing but friendly and nice to me to my face. Every interaction I've had with him, he was very friendly, very nice. He's never been... Yeah, that's how it is with a lot of these uh, new IFP people. I mean, I've heard of stories of, of, like, for example, Brian Dillinger mentioned a story where he was very, very faithful to one of his churches, and one day he didn't show up because he was sick, and they called him unfaithful. You see, with this whole IFP system, they expect certain things from you, and, and they'll pretend to be your friend, but secretly backstab you. I've heard some tons of stories like that, where the pastor will, will pretend to be your friend, he'll just backstab you and stuff. That's how it goes in this whole IFP cult system right here happens constantly uh, rude to me or anything and pretending to be my friend posing as my friend he came out and participated in a camping trip with us this summer in August with a bunch of our pastor friends and everything and here he is with an anonymous YouTube channel attacking me behind my back uh, you know I guess he didn't want to do it publicly so he's just gonna do it privately to 160 people and I've already been contacted by nine people so far that have said, yeah, Pastor Johnson contacted me specifically to talk crap about you. Pastor Aaron Thompson told me that, Pastor McMurtry, Pastor David Burzins, Pastor Rocky Randall. Also just several laymen have contacted me and said, I don't even know why he was talking to me about it. It was really weird because I'm nobody. You see, here's part of the problem here in this whole IFP system. Uh, the pastor is on, like basically you have a, a single pastor. He's the man of God, and he's put on a pedestal, and he basically is like, oh, I'm the man of God, don't question me, I'm the man of God, and they get this kind of mentality of, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, smarter, I'm better, I'm the man of God, so they'll pretend to be your friend, and then they'll backstab you, it's how it goes in this whole IFE system, they get, they get, they build up an ego about themselves, to where they can, oh, I can do what I want, and, you know, no one can stop me, you know, yeah. I've seen that a lot with this whole IFB system. They they build up a big they build up an ego about themselves. The uh, man of God happens a lot. Buddy, but yeah, he contacted me about it. My filmmaker buddy Peter Redock in New Mexico was contacted repeatedly by Pastor Johnson, railing on me. His words, okay. So what kind of a coward creates an anonymous YouTube channel? Hey, at least the things I have to say. I put them out there publicly and I put my name on it. I don't hide behind some anonymous, unlisted, secret YouTube channel and then pass that around, text that to everybody, email that to everybody while pretending to be the person that I'm attacking's friend. That's ridiculous. I, and I don't care what you think about this situation or how you feel about my going back to the Greek documentary or whatever. Anyone should agree that that is cowardly disgusting behavior and that is something that a snake would do yeah you get the picture actually uh so yeah of course michael johnson was very wicked what he did but again this is the problem with this whole ifb system they, they have the man of god who, who has a big ego about himself and he just will secretly stab you in the back when he pretends to be your friend that's the problem with this whole ifb system they're in a pagan building and there's a spirit that's that is attached to these pagan buildings so yeah, the new IFB, it, it's falling apart. I mean, they're just losing pastors and stuff. It's crazy. So don't be deceived by this call system right here, this new IFB system, uh, it's wicked. Uh, and, and do they speak some truth? Yeah, they, they speak some truth. There is a lot of truth that they, they do speak on certain issues, but I mean, they, they're, they're non-dispensational, they're anti-dispensational, they're post-trib, you know, they've got so many problems. You know, that there's, um, uh, where are they? I mean, I mean they're uh, anti-Israel, that kind of stuff. So many issues, so. Don't be deceived by the system right here. God bless you. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, they also think that America is Babylon, which is a big problem too. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.